Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I want to tell you this. Chosen ones, let me tell you all this. The reason why a lot of us don't get the support we need is because, number one, we don't follow society. We don't need approval from society. We don't need permission to do what the fuck we want to do. And that's why a lot of people are not going to fucking support us. Because how dare you step out and do what you want to do. You're supposed to do what everyone in society do. Come back here with us. you just like us. And you get me right? That is why they will never support us. Because at the same time, the re and another thing too, they don't want to support us because they're fucking busy competing with us. They low-key want to be us. They hate us. But they low-key love us at the same time. You see? Now this is what these karmics do. They want to be us low-key. They want us dead, but they still want us alive because they need our energy. But at the same time, they don't support us. Because with, oh, if, a cho if Chosen Ones was not in this world. I want to say this. If Chosen Ones was not alive in this world. These wicked people that, you know, operate from their carnal place. These people that, you know, that live in the kingdom of the darkness. They would not have nothing to do. Like, they would be nobody. They would be literally unemployed. The devil won't got no work for these people. And for real. But yeah, they literally hate us, but still love us at the same time. I don't understand that. Because I'm someone that I'm a real bitch. If I like you, I fucking like you. And if I do love you, you will get my love. But yeah, they want to be chosen so bad. But they don't know what it fucking entails to be chosen. They don't know what it entails to be chosen. You see? They want the glitz and the glam that comes with it. They want the glow and the shine. You see? They want the glory without the story. They don't want to go through the trials and the tribulations and the hard nights and the crying at night and the praying on your knees and, and begging and God and, and the hungry nights and the, uh, and, and the homeless nights. And they, don't want, they, they don't want that. It's like these karmics, it's like these devils they want they want to it's like playing monopoly you see they want to go around the board and pass jail and fucking pass pass you know go and collect 200 life don't fucking work like that bitch it <laughs> it's hard being a chosen one you get attacked from every angle. Are y'all ready for that? When you're a chosen one, you, uh, you get attacked from every angle. From family, friends, neighbors, co-workers, strangers. Are y'all ready for that? A lot of y'all weak. A lot of you people that... Even that, you, you, you see, these people that reject the chosen ones, these are the ones that weaken the spirit. These are people that are weak and they hide and do things and, and hide and do things in the shadows. That is weak shit. That is not chosen shit. In order to be a chosen, you have to have that build up stamina at a young age. This is why a lot of chosen ones last long. We live a long life. Because we've been in the battlefield from the time you was a child. And thank God I have a strong mental. Thank God I have a strong, strong, strong mind. And it cannot be altered. And that is what they want. They like to alter your mind and alter who you are as a person and change your fate. But none so will never fucking happen. You people too fucking grind me. You people too unethical. 
to be chosen. Doing a lot of fucking unethical shit. But then y'all want the glory. Y'all want the glory. But y'all don't have the story to back it up. How can... Come on now. How can you want the glory... But don't have the story. Don't have the testimony to back it up. And even if y'all want the glory. What can y'all really do to act please? Who y'all would really inspire? You see they want the nice things. But they don't have. They, they can't inspire anyone. Because they don't. They can't. They don't have the story. For the younger generation that's coming up after them. These are lazy people that just want to sit down and ask all day and do nothing and just receive good things. But doing wicked things, right? Y'all want good things in life. But doing wicked shit. And this is the thing that's really jiggled my titties and my ass. Because you people wicked as fuck, but I expect to have good things in life. Let me say that again. This is what does really jiggle my titties and my ass because you people just do a lot of wicked shit in the, under the moon. You people just do a lot of wicked shit in the dark, in the shadows, but expect to live a prosperous life. It don't work like that. From the moment y'all come up against a chosen one, you have written on your, you, you have laid, and I'm talking about in the spirit. From the moment you come up against a chosen one, you have a right. Your death certificate. You have signed your death certificate in the spirit. Y'all set yourselves up for failure. The moment y'all came for a chosen one. But a lot of you people don't know y'all. A lot of y'all don't understand that. And they would always say that a lot of you people might not even know that y'all are even doing it. Because y'all are operating from a place of low vibing. You know, y'all are being used by low entities. High vibrational people don't do that stuff. Y'all are being used by entities. The devil sent y'all. But like I said, now that I know who I am, I rebuke every single one of them. You see, my prayers hold weight in the spirit. So I rebuke every one of y'all. I don't now that I know who I am, I don't go back and forth with people anymore. That and that's a thing too. They provoke us to let us go back and forth. That's the way to stifle our energy. I don't have to go back and forth with people anymore. Now that I know who I am. All I have to say is I like, rebuke you demons. In the name of Lord. I rebuke you demons. Stealing my clothes just to stifle my energy. And there's more than one way to stifle energy, you guys. You don't have to be in the physical. You don't have to sit down next to someone to stifle their energy. You can cipher someone's energy by pictures, by the clothes they wear. So many different things you can siphon someone's energy. By negative energy, like so many different ways. Yeah. But like I said, I have a strong mental. Because if I didn't have a strong mental, I'd be going see now by now. I'm accustomed to this shit. You see, when you're a chosen one, you, you get built up. Your strength get built up for, for, for shit, like for your adulthood. Because that's when the worst is come. But yeah. They will never support the chosen. I had my surgery. And everybody that loved me when I was at the bottom. But from the moment I start to rise and elevate, that's when it, people start to get comfortable. 
Because as a chosen one, we were set up for failure. How can how, how are we still winning? You get me right? Because we are resilient. We don't look like what we've been through. We are resilient. And like I said in my last video, I hope you people have the strength that the chosen ones have. Because the same shit that we all put us through, Holy Spirit is about to explain the block for us. The divine, the universe, it's about to spin the block. And I just pray to God that you people have the same resilience that the chosen ones have. I just hope so. I just hope so. I hope so for real. I just hope y'all have the same type of resilience that we as chosen have. With that being said, love you guys. Love you. Chosen ones, always walk with your head high. And let these karmics know who the big boss is. We are the big cats. We are the tigers. We are the lions. But you see, they condition us to make us feel like we are the black sheep. When in reality, it's the other way around. They are the sheep. They want us to bow down to them and conform to them. But uh-uh. We the fucking goat. Be big cats, man. We roam alone. They flock together in groups and, and do shit in groups. Come on now. Sheep stay in groups. They flock together. We don't be in groups. Chosen ones, chosen ones are always isolated. So how can we be a sheep? You get me right? Like they always contradict themselves. The devil always contradict himself. We are not sheep. We are lions, tigers, and bears. Thank God they don't need validation from no one. I validate myself. I encourage myself. Because none of you bitches can do what I do. Not one of y'all. Y'all can't walk in my crocs. And that is what separates me from everybody that went up against me. Whether that's friends, family, co-workers, neighbors, and strangers. We are not the same. Y'all would have folded if y'all was in my predicament. We not equivalent. So I suggest you bitches to stay the fuck down and hang it up. Cause this season my discernment is on. I now know. I now know. I now know. You people were used for my great awakening. And thank God. I don't regret nothing these people did to me. I thank these people what they did. You see sometimes chosen ones. It might look like we are being abused. And it might look like oh my God. Why is this, why is this happening to me? Why you know, why the third or the fourth? But yes. These people are being used. By the devil to attack us. However. Sometimes God allow it. To wake us up. And that's why I always say, whatever the devil meant for bad, God will always turn it around for the better. So don't, don't be too hard on yourself. Don't beat yourself up. 
don't beat yourself up and i'm taking that as i i'm taking that as you know i'm taking that in i'm taking that in for myself too i'm taking that as you know don't beat myself up too because at first i used to but then i woke up to what was really going on i now understand that these people are being used however god had to allow it to really show me who i am with that being said guys love you and have a beautiful day Bye.